Hi everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing my 18 inch DC Superhero Girls. I have got Batgirl and Bumblebee for you today. So I got these from Argos, they were $17.99 which was half price and I thought that was a fantastic price. Um, so let's have a look at her box. She comes in um, a big box because she's a big doll. She's got a little bit of artwork on the front there. It says Batgirl Action Pose doll at the bottom. It says nine pieces. Um, we've got Jack's Pacific logo and DC logo on the side here. The warnings at the bottom. She looks as if she's got the city behind her in her box, which is quite good. Also, she comes with a stand, I've just noticed. I should have known that from watching Dale's Dolls reviews of her, shouldn't I? picture on the side there on the back we've actually got a picture of the doll um, and it says at superhero high iconic superheroes like wonder woman supergirl batgirl harlequin and bumblebee are ready for action as they navigate all the twists and turns of high school are you ready to get your cape on are you hmm pose batgirl to display her ability to push the limits with her expertise in martial arts and then at the bottom here it shows you some of the other dolls you can get, Wonder Woman, Bumblebee and Supergirl. So that's her box. And Bumblebee's box is the same. It's exactly the same. It's got the same background and everything. It's got the same. It's got a picture of her just there. Some artwork of her just there. She's got seven pieces and not nine. On the back, we've got a photo, photograph of the doll and it says the same sort of thing on the back of hers. So I will get them out and I will be back with you. Okay, so here are the girls outside of their boxes. They're both the same height, the, the same size and everything. Let's have a look at their articulation. First Bumblebee, they've got articulation at the knee, at the wrist, at the elbow yeah I like that I like their articulation their hands are posed Bumblebee's got one sort of flat hand and one that's able to hold hold a weapon but she doesn't actually have a weapon to hold she's got her cuffs on her gauntlets would you call them she's got her backpack which also is her wings and she's wearing this one piece outfit that has got, it's like a lycra on the top. It's got lycra sleeves. The body part is more satiny and it's painted on. It's got painted on gold detail, like the honeycomb detail at the side here and the little spots of gold on the, on the front yellow panel. The back is plain black all the way down with a patterned bottom, the patterned legs. On the front of the legs, they again are the same pattern and they've got a gold detail going down here, a gold line. At the bottom, they've got the honeycomb detail again. Really nice. I feel that that's well made and, it, and it, you know, it feels nice. It has a little plain black collar on. As I said, her backpack, her wings are attached to a backpack and you can take them off. You can remove the backpack. Let's do that so we can have a look at her hair a bit better. She's got the, you can take it off by just popping the straps out like this. And when you want to put it back on, you just put it over and pop these back through. So back to Bumblebee, she has the most beautiful face. I love her face, she's so pretty. But I think in comparison to the 12 inch doll, she actually looks younger. Here's the 12 inch girl. The 12 inch girl looks older to me. Do you agree or? She has a softer, younger face, I think. Maybe because she, it's bigger, I don't know. Yeah, um, same eye colour. The, and also the hair is different. On the 12 inch doll, she's got the um, moulded on cornrows, whereas this doll, she has got the most wonderful curly hair. It's lovely. It's ever so soft as well. There's no product in there at all. It's just gorgeous. And then she's got like three little twists going along the side here, which I think are meant to represent her cornrows. Yeah. 
but it's lovely and soft that hair is and it's like a chocolate brown with an orangey gold streak at the front and the orangey gold cornrows at the side a couple of more of those streaks on the top there too her boots are honey coloured <laughs> with black detail they're nice nice and big i wonder if she can stand on her own um i think if she was posed correctly she would stand on her own but yeah she can stand on her own okay her gauntlets as i'm calling them have got a bumblebee detail on them they're a turquoise blue no ear piercing for her she's got articulation in her chest as well she's just gorgeous i absolutely love her bumblebee is my favorite she really is she's just lovely she's got like a a glittery eyeshadow on and a star highlight in her eye she really is so pretty i love her absolutely love her yeah she's gorgeous her backpack has the yellow wings it has the honeycomb detail in the middle there and it has the strap so that you can reattach it to her quite easily so to reattach it you just pop the straps on her like that and then just pull them through the little hole in the bottom of the backpack each side so she is all reattached and ready for flight aren't you bumble there we go that's her all done um both dolls come with a three-piece stand on the bottom of the stand it says dc superhero girls and has some star detail on there and on the waist clip you've got some stars a big star in the middle and, and one smaller one each side It is the standard three-piece stand. Although, like I say, she can stand on her own. She doesn't need a stand. Then we come to Batgirl. For some reason, Batgirl doesn't come with her backpack on. It's positioned behind her, but it's not put on. On her backpack, she has got the Bat logo in the middle and she's got like these little computer circuit bits at the side there. And her straps have been wrapped over the back and clipped through. So what you need to do is unclip them like this and then just bring them round. And to put it on her, you need to bring them round and put them over her shoulders and pop it through. So Bat Girl, she's wearing her Bat mask. She's got the same um, star highlight in her eyes, but her eyes are green and not brown. She's got a lighter, paler coloured lipstick. Her hair is in ringlets. It's lovely that hair is. It does have some product in it, but I think you would need the product for this, you know, to keep the ringlets. Really cute. And she's got on her bat hood, which is attached to her top, just at the side here, at the front. It's just a little bit of attachment there. And it's also attached to her head with these things, which... Uh, actually, this... I'm not sure what this is about. This was sort of holding it in the box and... And I don't think that was at all necessary, to be honest. For some reason, the back of her hood will Velcro open. Yeah, so I'm, I don't know why that was necessary at all. I don't. Never mind. So she comes with her gauntlets, as I'm calling them, and they look like they've got technology technological um, things on there they look like they've got an instrument panel on them and they've got a little bat at the bottom there molded on she's got her utility belt which has a bat at the front and it has two little pat pockets there I do feel that that utility belt could have been a bit more detailed and the I think if they'd added a little bit more colour it would have made a big difference her outfit is black and purple with a yellow bat on the top here. It's an all-in-one, as is Bumblebee's. It's got Velcro at the back. It's got plain black all the way down the back. 
the sleeves are like a lycra uh, more of a mesh actually those are a stretch mesh I'd call those her top is more of a lycra mm, sort of a lycra it's like it feels plasticky and it, this fabric here is the same as as the fabric on bumblebee's legs the same pattern and everything and this bit here is smooth the purple bit on the side then she has again what looks like circuits a pattern of circuits on her legs she's got a purple detail down the side purple detail on her knees more little circuits here like a circuit board coming down from the purple knee pads and then she has her big yellow boots with black detail on and she has the same articulation as bumblebee yeah really gorgeous and she is a nine piece doll so her nine pieces are herself the doll that's one piece then her mask is two her arm her gauntlets are four her belt is five her outfit is six her boots are eight and her and her backpack her wings is nine so that's her nine and what Bumblebee is missing to make her seven instead of nine is the utility belt and the mask. So let's put Batgirls. They've actually, by doing it like they did, they've twisted the... These are quite badly twisted up. I don't, all you need to do is lay it on her and pop this bit through the little hole in the bottom of the backpack when you wanted to wear it. So yeah, let's see if she can stand up on her own as well. Yep. Yep, she can. And she also comes with a hand to hold a weapon, but no weapon to hold. And more of an open hand on the other side, although not as flat as Bumblebee's hand. So yeah, I like the hood she's got on. The hood is made of the same fabric as her sleeves, which is like I said, a stretchy mesh. If you stretch it, you can see that it's more of a mesh than a lycra. So that is my two 18-inch DC Superhero Girl dolls, Batgirl and Bumblebee. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.